Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been looking for a high capacity solar generator that won't break the bank, the AllPowers R2500 might be your best bet. With 2016 watt hour capacity and a 2500 pure sine wave inverter and fast dual charging, it's packing serious power. Now let's dive into everything this unit offers, including real world testing, whether it's actually worth it or not. So here's what you're getting. The 2016 watt hour battery, the 2500 inverter with 4000 peak power, a 1000 watt solar input, 2500 watt dual input with the AC plus the solar, a 15 millisecond UPS backup, and over 3500 charging cycles, expandable up to three additional batteries. And right now, it's on sale for $879, and that's just $0.43 cents per watt hour. That's a crazy value. Now, I put the 2500 inverter through some serious stress tests. So these are like the typical things that you're going to use going camping. Let's just test out each one and see how well the all powers can do it. do like a boiling water right there toaster right there as you can see it goes up to 1600 now and now let's do a there it is down to 1600 still boiling water right there and the toaster is still going There it is, the toast is done. Now it's back down to 840 watts there. This kettle as well is rated for 1000 watts. As you can see, it's doing really well there. If you notice as well, we still have one more slot for the AC power. So technically we could still add on another appliance here. So that's really good. There it is, once it's all done, it goes back to zero. I just like how you can monitor how much power it's using and how much power is coming in to the power station. So we get four 120 volt AC powers here. It also comes with an RV plug that is good for 20 amps. It also has four USB-A slots to charge your devices, two USB-C slots, great for laptops, DC power as well. Dual slot charging, AC and DC right here. And a couple slots to extend your batteries. You can hook up two more batteries with this one. Another test that we did is we hooked it up to our whole house. Basically, the all powers is powering up our whole house right now. This is kind of like the same scenario as an RV, except we don't have an RV. So I'm just using my house right now. And as you could see, powering up the whole house with normal use, even the furnace is on. And even at 63%, the battery is still saying that it's estimated will last for up to 45 minutes. Now let's test out the 400 watt all power solar panel. And I love how foldable this is. Basically, you just unravel it and it comes with its own stand and you hook it up to the All Powers R3500 and you're good to go. It basically snowed here about a couple days ago, but we have enough sun so that we can test this out. A little haze, but I think it's good enough. So we've set it up so that it and it's angled towards the sun as much as possible. And we're getting about 360 watts here on input from the solar panel which in my opinion is really good um, considering uh, it's still a little bit cloudy. Now the next test that we're gonna use is we're gonna kind of just block one cell of the solar panel. So let's see if that drastically brings down the uh, wattage, the input wattage that we're getting. Now with that, it went down to about 280, 280 plus their wattage. So. Uh, that's not too bad um the next test we're gonna cover a little bit more and see if that drastically makes a difference as well here we go 
So as you could see here, it went down to 250, 260-ish wattage. So it's, again, it's not too bad. And then we're going to do a la our last test here now where it's going to cover a lot more. Basically, I'm going to put the trash can right up to it and see how well it does. And as you could see, we're still able to get around 200 watts, 210 watts there. So that's not bad at all. That means that this solar panel, even with shaded areas, is going to perform really well. Now, one small annoyance is that once the inverter is on, the fan runs constantly. Hopefully, a firmware fix can address that. Now, in order for us to connect the All Powers R3500 to the app, what we need to do is download the All Powers app. Turn this on right here. Hold this for three seconds. Our Bluetooth is now turned on. And then we're going to hit next step here. And it's going to detect that. The R3500 right there and just like that it's connected now from here you'll be able to see the input output and also all the devices that are connected to your all powers R3500 and then that way you can monitor how much power do you have and do you have left if you need to charge because right now we have zero percent so we'll have to charge here right away so as you could see here, you can connect it via Bluetooth and also Wi-Fi. Then that way, if you're out of home or away from it, like in the RV or something like that, as long as you have Wi-Fi connection, you'll be able to uh, detect and look at how much input and output is going on with your device. So with this, as you could see here, um, 341 watts for the input. We're charging it right now. It also says how long it will take to charge it, as you can see here, four hours to recharge it. Not bad. Now it weighs about 63 pounds, uh, similar to other in this class. It has an integrated rubber grip handles. And personally, I think this is one of the best grips I've ever had on power stations. Now the fans uh, top out around 57 decibels there under load. Now let's do one last test. Basically something that I would use in a daily. For example, I plugged in my refrigerator right here to our All Powers R3500 and it's really good. I've also added multiple devices with my refrigerator and like Bishop Pro, projector, cameras, uh, charging little, uh, even my controller and it did really well. So for example, if I'm traveling and I want to bring all this and I want to charge it as well all at the same time, I think the All Powers 3500 would be really useful for me. So, is the All Powers R2500 worth it? Now, for budget buyers who want real capacity, UPS support, and flexible charging, absolutely. Just know that there's a few quirks up front. Now, smash that like button if you found this helpful. Links will be in the description down below and also a discount code. Subscribe for more Power Station reviews and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!